Yeah, and ready to go. Uh, Giannis was listed with an illness. We saw him warm up. Yeah. Is he expected to play through this? Yeah, game? most likely. Um, as you had said, you have never been in this situation. So what's a night like tonight? Is it is what do you hope to see? Is, is it, what's the feel out process? Yeah, you like know, it's going to take a minute. Like, it really. Um, you know, coaching for as long as I've coached and, and have bringing in all these different players at this time of the year, and you realize how long it takes them to, to learn a set or a couple of sets uh, of what we've run, you know, name calls of sets. And then uh, being the head coach, you got to know all of them uh, in two days, you know, which is obviously impossible. So, you know, really what I'm trying to do is slowly, really slowly put in some of my stuff um, and and simplify some of their stuff, which is our stuff now. Uh, and it's just going to take you. One thing you don't want to do, and, and we're so fearful of doing it, is you know paralyzing their, their brain, and now they're thinking. And so it's just going to take a while. Um, you know, now it's another reason why you see the value of training camp and stuff like that. Uh, but we don't have that, and, and everybody's up for the task. Uh, it's, it's it's really unusual. I mean, today, uh, Dave Yeager and I, you know, we're, we're trying we're trying to call some of the sets that, uh, you know, we probably got the names wrong two or three times. And, you know, what's actually interesting is, uh, but last year, you know, some of their same things are in, but they changed the name, you know. So Dave and I had scouted all, you know, we've seen the Bucks before, uh, but they're not the same calls anymore. So uh, it was it was a Funny practice today, to say the least. Uh, the schedule got Bridget Bango easy. Now yeah, just easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, just what do you see from him, and how difficult is he? He's just, you know, he's, he's him and Joel. Or um, I don't know if there's ever been a separation as great as after those two guys. That you know, it's it, the separation is amazing, um, and yeah, he just does everything. You know. Um, I, I, I resist, you know, I hate when we call him the uh, great passing big man. And like I said, probably 10 times a day, he's just a great passer, maybe the best passer in the league. Uh, forget what position he's in. And and that's a weapon uh, for them. You know, they run their offense through him. So trying to affect that is very difficult, but that's what you have to try to do. What about the team that's seemingly doing pretty well but better at defense? Us? Yeah. Um, well, thank you for the compliment, Sam. We're doing well. Uh, defense, you know, um, shot quality uh, can improve. Um, and I would just say our, our execution can improve. Um, but, but defensively, we don't force a lot of turnovers. Uh, teams are scoring on us at a pretty good rate. Uh, transition D uh, has to improve. You know, we listed a lot of stuff today, I can tell you that. Well, no, no. Mike Malone said the NBA is not allowed to play defense anymore. It's a big difference, you know. Uh, but the team that uh, wins it all at the end, they'll be a good defensive team. I guarantee you that. I think a lot has been uh, people expect that Dame is now just going to pick and roll with somebody and try yeah. to obtain a little bit more off. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious kind of what your read is on it, and does it compare at all to the way Harden and Embiid were doing it? Because that's the exact you know, mismatch they had a lot last Yeah, year. it's different because of Giannis' skill set and Joel's skill set, but um, it, it, it's been effective, uh, but it should be, like, dominant, in my opinion. Um, we did a lot of two-man work today. Uh, you won't probably see a lot of it tonight, uh, but uh, it was clear. I think the whole team pretty much got what we did after 20 minutes of doing the same thing or 10 minutes of uh, – it's important for us to uh, – and then the three-man game, too, with him and, and Chris, throw Chris in there, too. I think that's important as well. Does Dame's experience allow him to help you with the transition? Yeah, I think all there. That, that's one thing great about this team. We have grown-ups. You know, we really do. We have grown-ups in the room. Uh, they understand it, um, you know. Um, so I think they'll help me. I, I'll help them. Um, really high IQ team. You know, I haven't been here long enough to really say that. Uh, but that's what I see so far. Well, that's good. Um, and, you know, if they're saying that in three and four years, we have a story. You know, <laughs> no, jokingly. But, no, it's great. This, 
This is an interesting team to me because they know where they want to go. This is not a team where uh, you're trying to convince them that they can be something. You know, um, you know, my last job, I thought the first year, that you were almost trying to convince them how good they could be. Um, this team already, they, you know, we have five guys who have done it. Uh, you know, Dame came in here because he wants to do it. Um, so it's not like you have to talk them into a goal. They already know what the goal is. And they all know that the only way you reach that goal is it has to be a, a we, you know, um, uh, as a group. When, when players are saying uh, our team, they're talking about the players and the coaches. And when the coaches are talking about our team, they're talking about the coaches and the players. It's one group. And I think that's important. Thanks, guys.